Derelict northern junk buildings in downtown Victoria have changed hands and they'll soon be taking on a new life. A Vancouver developer has had his eye on the property since the spring and says he is now ready to turn that old derelict site into a vibrant new part of downtown. A News reporter Astrid Brownschmidt has more. From across the harbour, the northern junk buildings look like, well, junk. But Vancouver developer John Stovall sees something else. They're so, they're so sweet and small and kind of, you know, perfect as they are. And that's why his company, Reliance Properties, bought them for $1.5 million. It, it really is an amazing place in the city to be right on the waterfront with all these hotels and large structures all over the place and these little buildings just sitting here. They are two of Victoria's oldest buildings, left to fall into disrepair by longtime owner Clara Kramer. Stovall says he has been eyeing the heritage property since last spring. And we think in coming over here and seeing this great well-located property boarded up that you know it had to be an opportunity and naturally the city of Victoria is thrilled to hear of the sale we recognize that these are significant buildings uh, where heritage is concerned and to know that uh, this building and is going to be protected is uh, very important to us Stovall is known for developing micro lofts in Vancouver they're essentially 270 square feet of living space but could they be a good fit for the northern junk buildings I've been asked that question a few times I I don't know. I mean, you know, can you do that in Victoria? Is there a need for it? Can you build units that small? I just don't know. What we're seeing, especially with a lot of the condominiums being built, that a lot of people that are purchasing them don't need uh, large square footage. No matter how the buildings are configured, likely a mix of commercial and residential, Stovell does hope he and his architect, Paul Merrick, can honor the property's rich past. Once upon a time, wharves connected the warehouses to the water. You know, it was very heavy beams and, 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 and posts and columns and floor decking. And, and there's some old turnbuckles and brackets and steel elements and those kind of things that we would hope to, you know, restore and feature as sort of uh, artifacts, you know, in the building. This may be his company's first time in Victoria, but it may not be the last. Stovall says Reliance has also expressed interest in buying another of Kramer's derelict properties, the Janion Building. We'll keep an eye on that one. In the meantime, the Northern Junk facelift will be the end of a derelict era on the waterfront. And with the possibility of a new blue bridge, the next step in revitalizing Victoria's harbor. In Victoria, Astrid Brownschmidt, A News.